Yo, yo, what's up, Broken People family? It's Gremlin. I am here with my lovely girlfriend, Naomi, and we're about to head out to Hawaii for the first time with my boys as well, Roberto and Edwin. About to be a good time. Let's go. 7 a.m. right now, and then what, what'd you just say? You guys ain't down for a beer. <laughs> this guy drinks like a fucking fish. I've never met anybody like like, like him in my life. So I guess we're, you guys are about to see what Look. he's like. So we board on the plane and it is a huge plane. I've never seen one this big. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to sleep at all, which sucked. But uh, Naomi luckily was able to knock the hell out. Bro, was that not the longest freaking dude, flight that ever, dude? Fucking flight. That was it's ridiculous. What it, what yeah, it five hours for like 10. This will, this will, Im immediately, as soon as we land, this one gets on Tinder. Gang, bro. This, this, one, this one gets on Tinder. Right. And so it's like, it's this motherfucker just matched too? Oh my, get the fuck out. <laughs> All right guys, so I just got to Hawaii and I ran into this guy right here and he's like, are you gremlin? And I'm like, oh shit, we haven't even been here for five minutes. So much love to you, brother. I appreciate it, I appreciate yes, it. <laughs> so we're on our way to the hotel and it is very gloomy, which I don't mind because honestly, I love gloominess. Uh, but once we get to the hotel, we're greeted by this lovely lady named Taimani. Uh, she was such a sweetheart. Um, she treated us so well once we got there. And she's been a fan of mine for years, so it was great meeting her. And the hotel she works at, LaCroix, uh, actually hooked up our bed because it was our anniversary. So they are absolutely amazing. I will be going back for sure. And they even hooked it up with this beautiful view. Check that out. Next, we had some shots. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. This whole weekend gonna be on video, motherfucker. What do you mean? I ain't got no shame. You better be on your best behavior because you're gonna do some. <laughs> <laughs> so after settling into our hotel, uh, we went to go explore Waikiki. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful, and uh, we wanted to go get some food, so we went to this place called Lilica Bakery, which was amazing. Look at that. It was so tasty. Naomi's food was amazing as well. It was incredible. So right now, uh, we're about to go meet uh, with this girl, Jasmine. Uh, she's been a fan of mine for years, and we're gonna go enjoy a speakeasy with her. So let's go have a good time. Speakeasy, let's go. So we got inside this speakeasy called Wild Orange and the ambiance is absolutely incredible. I love how it's so intimate. The lights look amazing and it was just a beautiful time. They had a great selection of beer. It was awesome. And then Jasmine showed up and she was such a sweetheart. Uh, she put these flowers on Naomi's head. I believe it's called Lei. Um, I believe I could be wrong. But she also gave me some as well. Super nice. After the shots, uh, Edwin wanted me to try this weird ass drink. I like the other one. Really? You don't like the Palo Santo, huh? I don't even know what the fuck that is. The Palo Santo tastes like the like a like a branch, like that that twig. Why the fuck would I want a twig in my mouth? Did you guys like the place? Did you? Oh yeah. So afterwards, we were waiting for our Uber, and Jasmine had some Jello shots. Yeah, we could have like. You know, wine on Rob, let tab. me see you have it. I uh -huh. think we should, yeah. I can eat it. No. I'm going. <laughs> you eat that, Rob. Baby, you just <laughs> eat it like I'm a fucking... I'm doing it in my backyard. Like it's jello. What the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> like, take it like a <laughs> shot, the dude. Jello's what are you doing? Thing. That jello was so bomb, and I think it was Naomi's first time having that. <laughs> so afterwards, we went to this place called Work Play, had some drinks, some more shots, and then Edwin was drinking heavily, too, as you'll see in this next clip when he was talking to me. You came to me as a as a as a guy vulnerable. Yes. You had your fucking heart on your sleeve. You wanted to fucking put music out. You've been doing it. You've been growing. You've been fucking rising up, bro. And I'm proud of you, dog. I'm proud of you. 100% dog. 100% dog. I'm proud of you, dog. I love you, man. I love you, brother. I said I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love your ass too, bro. After having some drinks, uh, we went to a karaoke bar, uh, which it was my first time and Naomi's first time as well, and it was really cool. And uh, we started off with this cool shot. Oh, damn. Mm. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? That yeah. is so good. I wish I could show you all of karaoke, but I can't have this music on here or I get a copyright strike, but enjoy the clips I can share. Overall, we had such a great night. Day one was wild as fuck. Uh, we had a great time. And do you remember when I told you Edwin was an alcoholic? Edwin, what are you doing right now? Putting you this lava lava on. Oh, okay. But aside from that, what did you just pop open? This motherfucker just popped open the motherfucking truly, bruh. This isn't a white, or a white claw, whatever. He just popped one open. So Naomi and I went exploring for a little bit and uh, we came across this place where you get to choose your oyster and you get to have the pearl that's inside. Uh, it was a really cool experience. Uh, he opened it up in front of us and we actually had a big ass pearl, as you can see. <laughs> Ours is the big one right there, which is super cool. And uh, I wanted to put this on a pendant for our anniversary. So he gave us this really cool looking one. Look at that, so beautiful, to celebrate our one year. And uh, after that, we went to Duke's, which is a famous restaurant, and it was right on the beach. Delicious. All right, guys, so we're all a little hungover right now, uh, but we are about to go to this ranch where apparently they filmed like Jurassic Park, Jumanji, and a bunch of other cool shit. So we're excited. Let's see what that's like. So this was a really cool experience. Um, it was absolutely breathtaking, uh, the views we were able to see. Uh, they had bunkers in here that people can actually go into if an emergency happens. Uh, these are all the famous movies that were shot on this ranch. Uh, it was incredible. And these are some props from the movie Jurassic Park. And I would have never guessed that they were so small, but that's movie magic, I guess. Next stop was the Boneyard. Uh, it's all prop bones. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a close look. So as you can see on this next clip, uh, it's basically made out of styrofoam and a metal thing going through it. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what this skull was from, but it was really cool. And after that, we went to go get some food. All right, so we just went to this cool spot um, that Jasmine recommended to us. Uh, apparently it's really good. And um, yeah, let me show you guys. So this, I've never had, but it's called Poi. Uh, she said it was very different, so let's see what it tastes like. You can tell by my face what I thought. I don't know how I feel, ab I don't know how I feel about the Poi. Really? I mean, uh, what the fuck is it? It's taro, taro root. And she said it's like a starchy. Yeah, it's very weird. But the pork, on the other hand, is really good. All right, so Rob here has a cacao. This is what uh, chocolate is, right? It is. Oh my god. And I just eat the thing around it and then... Yeah, and you spit out the, the bean. It does not taste like chocolate. What happens if I trim the seed? Just don't eat it. Is it the don't seed that it? gives it the cacao? It though? might get bitter. It might be a bitter taste. This tastes... Like what? I, I can't even describe it. It's like a... Um... It tastes like a mango and a banana smoothie. After some shots, uh, we went to go hit up this festival that they were having. Super beautiful. Uh, and then here's where things get funny. Edwin and I are on the beach during an Instagram live and we play What Are The Odds? Check this out. Okay, yeah, no one's down to jump in the water. Okay, what are the odds? You, you jump in the water, motherfucker. One to five. Shut up. One to five. Okay. You so count. if we land on the same number, he has oh, to jump yeah, in the water. Yeah, yeah. Ready? One, one two, three, four. four. No, my bad. I said five. <laughs> you lost, dude. No, you lost. No, you lost. No, you lost. No, no, no. With him. You lost. You're gonna jump? Yeah. Holy shit. Yo. He's jumping. He just lost. Edwin. Edwin, bro. Oh my god. Edwin. Edwin. No, bro. Edwin. Oh my god. Edwin. <laughs> he fucking did it. My God, bro, how do you feel? I fucked up. I was supposed to say five. So uh, right now we're all hungry. Uh, I'm not hungover, surprisingly. So I'm not drinking tonight. I'm drinking today. And <laughs> that was good. That was good. But uh, right now we're about to go have some mariscos. Yo, this food was absolutely incredible. It tastes just as good as it looks. 
And what's cool about Hawaii is that you have some random ass chickens running around. <laughs> How cool is that? Then I got my food and it was bomb. We decided to end the night at Duke's. Uh, we were all pretty tired, um, but we were right on the beach. And uh, yeah, we were just winding down, but I think Edwin wanted to get some revenge on me for last night. Hey, what are the odds? Just a hunch. It is our fourth day in Hawaii, and for some reason it sounds like I'm losing my voice, which I don't know why, I didn't fucking do anything, but it is our fourth day. Now we're about to go over to the big island, and uh, now it's just Naomi and uh, Rob. Edwin had to fly out this morning. So, yeah, we're gonna head over to- Hilo. Hilo. Yes. Hilo, Hawaii. So as we were leaving the hotel, uh, the hotel staff at LaCroix are absolutely incredible. If you're ever in Hawaii, go stay with them. Now here's where things take a turn. Uh, so we're hopping over to the next island and there is something in Naomi's backpack that stops us from doing so. So Naomi almost got arrested. Fuck, dude, like, <laughs> apparently she had a bullet in her fucking purse that she didn't know about. And we take that back to Mexico, to everywhere. LA, everywhere. And she had it in there for years and they found it. And we were like, I was, at first I was fucking pissed. Then I'm like, you know what? My baby wouldn't survive jail. <laughs> I hope they figured it out and let it go. And luckily they did. One little bullet. I thought, hey, baby, that's a big deal. Like, I, I thought, I thought you were gonna get like something bad, you know, but. I'm just glad that you're you're good, and we didn't miss our flight, so thank God for that. Yeah. But I was scared though. What was going through your mind initially? Did you think that you were gonna get prison time or something? Yeah, or like we couldn't travel. Yeah. And I didn't record when she was with them uh, because I didn't want to draw more attention to us, you know. Uh, so I just filmed as they were closing out with her, and she was walking away. So you can see the two cops here. Uh, they had her for about 30 minutes. And just to let you know, she had a bullet uh, as a souvenir when she went to a shooting range with her brother, just to give some clarity. But I'm just glad she was okay. And off we go to the next island. All right, so we just got out here and it's really gray. It's starting to rain. And it's starting to rain. Uh, apparently, it rains all the time, every day, the lady said. Uh, I love rain, honestly. Like, I'm not mad at it. Before going to the hotel, Naomi wanted to stop at Walmart. Baby, can we have these? Can we please have these? Maybe they are so for shakers. It'll be me and you. <laughs> Who else is going to be? We finally get to the room, and it's definitely not what we expect. Dude, what is, what is, isn't that crazy? We just had like the craziest room ever. And now we're back to like the most simplest fucking layout known to mankind. So after settling into our room, uh, we start heading over to these famous caves. Uh, but we had to walk down these steep ass steps first. And uh, on the left side, we have caves. And also on the right, we went to the left side first. Let, let's go inside. <laughs> You're like, we'll go for it. It's fucking all dark and shit. Oh, Wait, what the so fuck is that? So this is all a lava flow. That what is that? Dude, I don't know, bro. Oh, shit, you see anything running? Are you serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I fucking hate you. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> then we went over to the cave on the right, which was really big uh, and really dark once you enter in more. Uh, but it was really beautiful. Um, here's some lava, I believe. Um, this used to be like an old volcano. I could be wrong, but I think that's the case. Um, but Rob wanted to keep going in the fucking cave, and I was scared as shit. Look at that, dude. I, I, I seen too many videos. I, I don't want to get lost. I'll what? go for I'll go for another 30 seconds. Go go over there and then let us know what you see. No, just come up. Just right there. No, come up. Oh my god. <laughs> I think yeah. I think this is what we call it, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell by this pic that I was scared as shit. So Rob just told us that in the cave, he had to move out of some woman's way and he bumped his head into the thing and, and it hurts like a motherfucker right now. It hurts like a motherfucker when you get a fucking uh, Tom and Jerry fucking snap right here. <laughs> some fucking mini to shit. Those hurt when you get hit in the head. That, that, that shit hurts. Yeah, especially on a fucking hard ass rock cave, bro. <laughs> so we just arrived at Black Sand Beach and uh, the sand is black. So the sand is literally black. I've never seen anything like it, but it was absolutely breathtaking. And here's the consistency of the sand. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, but it was 
breathtaking, never seen anything like it. Um, and then afterwards we headed over to this park where supposedly you can see a lot of sea turtles. I didn't believe it, but once Naomi got in the water, they started coming. Apparently it was trying to bite this lady, which was hilarious, uh, but not one, two showed up. So beautiful. Yo, yo, what's up guys? So we're in Kona uh, right now for the night. It's our last night in Hawaii. Uh, so we're about to go to a tiki bar and then grab some food uh, and just explore a little bit. So we head over to this tiki bar and it is awesome. The view's amazing and the drinks are strong as shit. The steak was absolutely delicious, and fun fact, Naomi never finishes her food. So Rob is making fun of Naomi because she didn't eat shit. <laughs> Four teeter tots and a bite. You just get bored and you want to eat. And you just get bored and want to drink. All right. Hey, but I can admit it. All right. Food was bomb. The drinks were good. Very strong. How'd you like it? Very strong. Yeah, it was, huh? So our last day in Hawaii, uh, we just wanted to chill. Uh, we had to catch a plane later, so we wanted to relax. Um, but I picked up this hermit crab, which was super cool. Never actually found one on the beach, so that was really nice. Don't worry, I did put him back, as you can see him walking away. Um, but yeah, man, it was such a good time. We couldn't stay for long, and we had to head back to the airport. But man, this trip was amazing. So the trip has officially ended. We're now on our way back home. I had one of the best times of my life. Rob, how'd you like it? I loved it. It's more than what people say, you know, like the expectations for sure. Yeah, for sure. Babe, what'd you think of it? Definitely amazing. Like, it was so fun. Every day was an adventure. I agree. Now it's back to reality. Um, but we're gonna come back here soon because it's too good not to. Um, definitely gotta come back.